Hello Aries and welcome to your Twin Flame reading for April 2020. This will let you know what's coming in for you with your masculine and love, what you need to know now about the future. I'm going to use three decks of cards for you. We're going to use the Everyday Witch Tarot. We're going to use the Goddess Guidance Oracle and the Love for All Seasons cards and anything else they guide me to. So let's see what's going on. Now, I have also done a general reading for you. And if you remember how powerful you are in this month of April, everything you desire will start to manifest, including union with your twin. So you have to trust in who you are. Now also look out for the message about your masculine. So wherever sign your masculine is, go to the video and watch the Divine Masculine reading for that sign. And it will give you insight into what your masculine is going through right now. So thank you, angels. What do we need to know, please, for the twin flames in April for Aries? What do we need to know, please? Wow, they're just flying out. I'm taking them until they tell me to stop. I'm going to split the deck there. And that one's jumping out. So let's see what's on the floor. So we've got quite a few cards coming out there for you. I'm also going to split these as well. So what do we need to know for the Goddess Guidance card? What's going on with the Twin Flames, please, angels? What do we need to know? Wow, okay. Yeah, they want me to split them. And then if anything else is sticking out, there we go, two cards, three cards, wow. What do we need to know for the Twin Flame Aries, please? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? Thank you. So, super interested because I've used these cards for the general reading as well to see what's going on. So let's see what they want you to know. So, wow. Well, this is confirmation that it is a Twin Flame connection. So this is super powerful. So if any of you watching right now are thinking, is this my twin? Is this real? Is it in my head? The angels are confirming to you that yes, this is a twin flame connection. So let all the doubts and fears go. You know, you've found the person you're seeking. So this is your one, you know, release the doubt now. Now the situation continues, have patience. So it continues, which means that you have to have patience, which means you have to have compassion and understanding and all the things within you that lead you to unconditional love. So we know that self-love is the way to union, working on self, giving your twin the time, the space and the room to be with you, to come to you, to show you how they really feel. And they will show you how they really feel in their eyes. Because they're showing me the smouldering energy is in the eyes. The way you feel is real. So when you connect with their eyes, when you look into each other's eyes, you'll melt for each other. So you may feel underwater and, you know, like you can't carry on at times. But you have to continue because the situation continues and it will continue to smoulder. You're irresistible to each other. You'll continue to be guided to each other like a moth to a flame. So you have to just be patient with this journey and have some fun. You know, we've got playtime there. So if you do come together, make sure you make it playful. Don't make it super serious. Don't make it something it's not yet ready to be. So enjoy the moments that you have together the moments in the now, just enjoy being in that moment with your person, don't try and rush it, you know, or force it, or bring up the past, or bring up things that you can't change, just enjoy the now, there may be even be an opportunity for some of you to spend serious time together, just make sure that you're taking things lightly, because there's a great opportunity coming in in your connection, the door is opening in your connection. You know, communication is coming in. Release the fear, the doubt, the worry. Know that this is your twin because the door is open. So in April, the door is open for you. So breathe easier and trust that your masculine is coming on on the way. New opportunities are around. Don't let them pass you by. <clears throat> you know, they're giving me the block throat shackle when I'm tuning in with that. So if you have the opportunity to meet up with your twin, go for it. Don't let your mind take over, follow your heart, because there's a great opportunity there. 
we've got sacred space. I love this. Create an altar or visit a power place to connect with the divine. And this month, it's all about that, you know. It's about tuning in with the divine, going within, focusing on who you are, knowing who you are. And I'm just going to turn over the tarot as I'm doing this because we've also got the temperance card. So we know that it's about patience this month because the opportunities are coming in. But it's also about balance. And, you know, when you find that sacred space that you have within you, which could be an altar, somewhere you talk to heaven, somewhere you meditate, somewhere you go within. It could also be something that you do to bring that within you. Like the yoga that you're doing. You know, you may be doing yoga or exercise or some spiritual thing that brings balance in. Something worth doing for healing. Finding you, going within. So in the general reading, the Hermit card came out. And I'm really feeling this when I'm tuning into this energy. As well that the fires are burning, all the flames are there, you know. So again, this is like Divine Feminines coming together here with Divine Feminines. So you found your sacred space here because you can be yourself. You haven't got to hide your emotions or your feelings. You know, you can tell us all what's going on. You can have a rant if you need to and get that emotion out. And that's your sacred space. It brings in a healing. But this is also about having patience, compassion, and understanding for the journey and realizing that your masculine is struggling with communication. You know, they're showing me the, the throat chakra there. So throat chakra is being healed right now and opened up so your masculine is going to be very receptive this month to what's going on within the connection and that's bringing in change and new beginnings wow we've got inner wisdom you know what to do trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay so you're becoming very wise on the journey even if your emotions are on overload right now you're tuning in you know, you're realising what it's all about and you're starting to set intentions. So the angels want you to take action today with setting clear intentions, unwavering intentions, focused intentions, trusting in who you are. So you're setting intentions, thinking, planning, deciding what to do, making plans. And that's bringing in power. And it's helping you to tune in with who you really are because the Queen of Cups is in her power when she's in her emotions. So you're in your emotion, vulnerable, feeling stronger, ready for what's to come, bringing in balance and understanding, realizing that you can kind of work with the elements of life. You know, you can move things around, create abundance, that this journey is infinite, that it's never ending, it's going on forever. And, you know, your masculine wants to come home. I love this. We've got home. Your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in occupancy. So it's showing you, first of all, home is where your heart is. So the angels are saying to you, your masculine doesn't have to physically be with you for you to know that they are there because your masculine loves you anyway and is with you wherever you are, wherever your home is because your hearts are connected and collided. But I'm also feeling that some of you will be making changes. So maybe you are moving right now or changing occupancy, or decorating, or, you know, simplifying things within your home, moving things around, and it's showing it's a great time to do that, because it will also bring movement in, and you know, if you're single right now, clear out some space in the closet, make sure your home is couple friendly, you know, that you're not just doing things for yourself and you're not thinking of anything else. Put the intention out there of what you'll be like when you're in union. So put some extra hangers in the wardrobe. Make some space in the bedroom, you know. Trust that all is well and that your masculine is coming home because I feel he's planning this right now. Now, this might be as well symbolic to you if your masculine is an air sign, but I'm feeling that your masculine is very kind of he's strategizing what he needs to do to be with you so he's making choices and decisions that are coming from his mind but they're coming from his heart because heart is where the home is and you're his heart and his home so he's deciding what to do you know he's getting stronger because he wants to show you how he feels 
He wants to give you love. He wants to give you flowers. He wants to be romantic with you. And he's showing that there. So there's a lot of giving energy around the connection this month. So your masculine could come to you and give you a gift. You may get a gift from the universe. You may be giving love to them sending love to them but I feel there's love between you so it's going to be more about the love this month than about the fear you know you're giving the fear to heaven you're releasing the fear and it's making you strong and that's what's bringing in progress and that's what will move this connection forward we've got inner goddess love it so you're tuning into the inner goddess within you. And remember, your masculine adores you for the inner goddess that you are. When you're standing strong and you're in your power, your masculine loves that about you. You thrive, you know, and your masculine can feel that power and that light just radiating from you. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care and appreciating your divinity so this month dance with life know who you are stand strong dance with the divinity of life the union trust it's all falling into place and that everything is in a cycle and a rhythm honor the cycle of your body energy levels and emotions so you don't have to rush things this month take your time trust that everything is in a cycle trust that everything is falling into place that everything is in the rhythm and the ebb and flow of life. So if you think you've surrendered, surrender some more. Work on you. Go to your sacred space. Tune into heaven. Meditate. Tune in with source. Remember who, who you are and how powerful you are. That's where your power is. And we've got the art. Express yourself through creative activities. So I also feel that you and your masculine will be getting very creative with each other, you know, telepathic communication through art. So maybe you see a picture and it reminds you of each other or maybe you're communicating through music this month or beautiful things. But it feels like you're very creative and you could be very arty as well. You know, you could be in the creative arts profession. You could be musical all of these things but I feel that you're going to be connecting on a higher level than a physical one because this is going to be a month where your masculine is preparing to get with you you know to get with you to be with you to take action towards you a lot of you will receive communication and action this month you know because they're in the energy of giving and you're in the energy of giving you know you've had enough of fighting you're not a fighter you're a lover so, you know, you've had enough of fighting with your twin, you're going within now, you're working on your sacred space, you know, you're tuning into who you are, so you'd rather love than fight, and the angels know that, and they're watching over you right now. So, to end this reading, I'm going to pull you a message from your Divine Masculine. What do all the Aries twin flames need to know, please, from their twin? Two messages coming out for you then, wow. So the first thing is, you've been wondering. You looked at the sky, knowing this wasn't your home. You looked at this life with the eyes of a child, wondering again where you belong. Look at the sky now and know that I have been wondering too, without my love, and now I am coming home. So that's beautiful, and it makes super sense because we've got the home card. So your mask is saying to you, if you've been wondering if I'm your twin flame, okay, this is what he's saying, then you are, okay, you are twin flames because, you know, you've been shown that there. So if you've been wondering, if you've been looking up at the sky and thinking, I need my twin because that's how I feel at home. If that's how you feel, your mask is saying to you, look again now and know that I've been wondering it too. I've been thinking about you too. So if you've been thinking, is this my twin? Your masculine has been thinking the same. Is she my twin? Is he my twin? You've been questioning the same things. And you've been shown the same things that it's real. Your masculine is saying to you, without my love, I am coming home. So there is no love without you. So your masculine is saying to you, I'm coming home to you. I'm finding you again. Don't worry. I'm on the way. You have to keep the faith. And your mask is saying to you, even in the longest of the travels, I am seeing you in my heart. 
even in the longest of the travels i am seeing you in my heart so your masculine saying to you this may be a long journey you know it may have gone on for a while so you know if your journey's been a long one it's been a long travel but your masculine always sees you in their heart they are always thinking about you, connecting with you, wondering about you. And right now, the strategizing of how to be with you, sending you love, wanting to communicate that love to you. So this is a beautiful month for you, Aries. Breathe, release, keep the faith and know who you are because your masculine is coming home. Have a beautiful day, a magical month, and I'll see you soon.